As of now, Mortal Kombat is still scheduled to hit theaters on January 15th, 2021. It's been 25 years since we've gotten a live action Mortal Kombat movie, if we don't count Annihilation, and I don't. Too bad you will die. Even those were PG-13 though. The 2011 show was a lot of fun, but it's high time we had a true to the source material hard R Mortal Kombat movie. Like the new animated movie Scorpion's Revenge, which got Mortal Kombat so, so right. Luckily, it looks like that's what fans are finally getting. What's up guys, Chris Killian here, and until we get a proper trailer, let's pick some of the fatalities we want to see in an R-rated Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah, get over here. Where do you get these guys? While I was on set for Mortal Kombat earlier this year in Australia, I'm sworn to secrecy with what I saw, but trust me when I tell you, fans are gonna love this Mortal Kombat movie. What I can divulge comes from an exclusive interview with Louis Tan I had a few weeks ago where he told me just how gruesome the fatalities are gonna be. On a scale of one to I'm a grown man and have to cover my eyes, how bloody are the fatalities? Let me just say this, there were some days on set that I felt sick. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, oh God. Uh, they, did, they did not hold back. So armed with that knowledge, let's pick out some good ones. And fair warning, most of these are classics because what better way to pay homage to Mortal Kombat than to feature the fatalities that brought us to the dance. The first one is a long shot, the dragon bite from Liu Kang. While it is a classic fatality, it's also one of the sillier ones that Mortal Kombat ever did, and seeing Liu Kang morph into a giant dragon who bites someone in half probably won't make sense in live action. But who knows, maybe they'll figure out a fun way to do it. Next we have Shang Tsung Soul Steel. This is one of the few fatalities to make it into the original Mortal Kombat movie back in 1995. Your soul is mine. No! But this fatality has morphed over the years and not including a brutal updated version of it for this movie would be a downright travesty, especially since we know Chin Han, most famous for his role in The Dark Knight, is playing Shang Tsung. I know the squealers when I see them. and. Up next is Goro, and while we don't know for sure if Goro is in the film yet, if he is, this time around he hopefully won't look like a Jim Henson Muppet. Stick him in the also this time around, we'll hopefully get to see the limb rip, a fatality that has become synonymous with the four-armed character. Oh my god! Speaking of famous fatalities, another classic we've got to see is Toasty. Toasty! Not the guy popping his head into camera, I'm talking about Scorpion's OG fatality that has stood the test of time and appeared in some form or fashion throughout every Mortal Kombat game. There was even a nod to it in the original 1995 movie, but unfortunately Scorpion doesn't kill anyone with it, so it doesn't really count. And you can't feature Scorpion's classic MK move without featuring one from his mortal enemy Sub-Zero. That's right, the spine rip, ladies and gentlemen, a move that exemplifies how important it is to put your back into it. Not all fatalities belong to the fighters either. Some of the best fatalities are stage fatalities, and if I could only choose one, here's hoping it's the pit where some unfortunate soul gets uppercut into a chasm of deadly spikes. Finally, the big one we gotta see, Technically it's a brutality now, but it used to be a fatality, and above all the other senseless fatalities that defy the laws of science, we need, nay, we deserve the classic. If someone doesn't get their heads uppercutted off of their bodies, preferably with a spine still attached, Mortal Kombat fans will riot. What are some fatalities you want to see in the game? Tell me in the comments, or if you want to be sure I respond, hit me up on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. For all the latest on Mortal Kombat, keep it locked on comicbook.com, and thanks for watching.